Fans drank thousands of cans of Coca-Cola and probably other drinks at the Coca-Cola 600 back in May at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Now all those cans and bottles are being recycled right here in Charlotte. Fox 46's Brett Baldick is live from Charlotte Innovation Barn in the Belmont neighborhood with a look at where those cans are now. Brett, good morning. Were you able to find your exact cans? <laughs> I was not able to find my exact can. I actually drank AHA seltzer, and there were a couple of those cans in the Innovation Barn that you see behind me. And the Coca-Cola 600 is the longest race of the year, and of course, fans will get thirsty because it is the summertime during the race. So it's no surprise how many cans are actually inside this building. You're looking at what thirsty NASCAR fans left behind. 60,000 empty bottles and cans. That's a lot of cans over there and bottles. And again, it smells like a fraternity house. So there's that piece. But yeah, I, it's a little overwhelming. Each one of these three dumpsters holds about 20,000 cans. They came directly from Charlotte Motor Speedway. New this year, the Speedway partnered with Coca-Cola Consolidated to set up hundreds of recycle containers. The barrels used were also recycled as they were once soda syrup containers. Not only did they tell people to recycle, they helped them. They brought in um, resources to actually manage the whole thing. So there was a lot, I mean, months of planning went into this. Volunteers helped sort the plastic bottles from aluminum cans at the track. Both were brought here to the new Envision Charlotte Innovation Barn, where the recyclables are crushed and formed into bales. It takes about 6,000 cans to make one bale, which weighs about 250 pounds. The bales are then purchased by a processing company. So it literally goes back in gets shredded up, remade into new cans and bottles. The local recycle program getting the green flag from Charlotte Motor Speedway as old corporate owned recycling methods often took recyclables away from the Queen City. There's no control of where it goes. It may go to processing plants that make polyester for clothing rather than back into bottles. So the original plan for this program was to start during the 2020 Coca-Cola 600, which we all know was during the pandemic and no fans were allowed. So there were no bottles and cans to be recycled. So they delayed it a year, started it, started it this year. And the goal is with the success they had to return it back to the racetrack for next year's Coca-Cola 600 as well. Jason and Wyatt, back to you. Brett, what a fascinating story. Interesting to see where those cans go after they leave the, uh, the speedway. Crushing it there.